At an Oak Grove practice, it does not take long to spot Caroline Bradley and then appreciate her game. My teammates, they always get really mad because when we walk in the gym, people are just looking at me um, all weird, and I'm like, guys, it's okay. They've just never seen somebody quite like me. <laughs> It's funny just to watch them when she walks in, everybody's looking and, and how they react. I definitely do get used to it, but you know, it's still cool to, you know, kind of get that, dang, how old are you? What, what grade are you in? She just turned 15 and is considered one of the top freshmen in the country. At six foot five, opponents have no answer for her size, let alone her versatility. I do have a little bit more eyes on me. Um, I don't really think of it as pressure, but you know, I'm, I'm thankful for it and I'm uh, thankful to be able to play the game I love. It's refreshing to coach a kid like Caroline because she's the hardest worker in the gym, uh, which brings everybody else along. We got a, a, I got a group of kids that show up every day. For a program in a school known for championships, Bradley wants her own ring, a fact that her brother is not afraid to bring up. Jackson has been part of two titles as the Tigers' starting quarterback definitely does inspire me and uh, it just you know makes me want to be able to talk some trash because once he says that I can't really say anything back so you know definitely to get one of those um, so that you know I can enter the conversation of one of the best in the household. We got a Aaron Zace. <laughs> feels great um, like I said you know I couldn't do this without my teammates and so uh, but yes sir it's, it's a great accomplishment and I thank y'all. Down the road at Briarfield, the school's goals are pretty obvious. You know, about the middle of the year, we kind of just got an idea that, you know, we had a shot at it. One year after winning just seven games, the Rebels were anxious to soar to new heights this season. Coach Blake's second year here, we uh, really bought in. They advanced to the finals, but things looked bleak as they trailed by three in overtime. That was a big shot, probably the biggest shot of my career. So, how nervous were you? Well, really, I wasn't nervous at all. Rebels are the champions. What a game. Holy cow. Feel surreal. You just don't ever expect that kind of stuff to happen. It was something that I've never felt before. It was, uh, we never stopped fighting. We played as a team the whole time. And so it was great being able to see it pay off like, that, like it did at the end. There will soon be an addition to Briarfield's Wall of Champions. For the first time since 1975, the Rebels are celebrating a basketball title. We did it for our school and for our community and our coaches and each other, really. Two Aaron's aces today. First one will be Ben Couillard. It is cool. It's a small town. I mean, we don't get these kind of publicity things very often, so to get, get noticed like this is really special. We've been going to school together since we were little bitty, so it's cool to be able to do something like this.